So as you will see, the main value of this boat is that it is an amphibious boat, uh, which is able to land on different kinds of shores and different slopes. Okay, so what's, what's the concept? Uh, what we saw in the past very much in the, in the defense area is that there has been many amphibious craft, which were mainly amphibious vehicles as opposed to boats going on land, which means uh, all the constraints related to the being a vehicle were positioned first, and then uh, it was potentially more used to cross rivers and short distances with low seawareness capability. Uh, the concept of iguana is just to do the opposite, to is really to say, we are going to be to have a boat which is able to land on any kind of shore. It's really a new concept. It's very different which, from all, what, all which exists before. Uh, and obviously one of the strong value of this concept is the use of tracks because tracks can help land on any kind of soil. Uh, you see here the way it works. Uh, the landing gear is really integrated in the hull in a very simple way. So, you know, they're, they're, when we launched that uh, 15 years ago, um, you know, we looked through all the interiority of concept in terms of amphibious vehicles and boats, and you always find shutters and panes and different mobile parts which are very fragile. Uh, the idea here is to have a very basic system which is going to work 100% of the time. And this basic system is, is a mobility system using tracks, which is just uh, moving like 90 degrees and folds into the, into the hull. The key principle, obviously, that this uh, mobility system is connected to the hull with the arm uh, a mount, a mount, if you want, which fits perfectly into the hull and which close, closes the hole which are in the hull. So the main idea is, and uh, the, the main idea is to really have a very good boat. And this is what we obtain, which is we have a strong boat, very powerful, which can go very fast. Uh, as you can imagine, the center of gravity is very low in the boat. So the boat can turn flat somehow, doesn't have to bend on the side. Uh, and it goes across waves in strong seas and it's extremely robust and fast. And at the same time, uh, and you will see how it works because I have many questions uh, around the waves. Uh, the value of the system is that you can uh, launch the boat in significantly big waves and uh, land in waves too, because the, the deck and the boat itself is, uh, is on, the, on top of the arm system. So it's, the waves are going underneath uh, the boat when it lands and when, it, when it's launched. In terms of land performance, everybody knows about tracks value. Uh, it's as if you had like uh, five or 10 wheels on both sides of the boat. So it gives you a very strong uh, surface, very large surface to put the weight. The weight of the boat on the land is like one person on one foot. So it's a uh, limited pressure, which allows you to go on very soft sand, but also in mud, in rocks, uh, in all kinds of ground. Actually, the pictures illustrate marginally the reality of the power of the system, which is stronger than what we see. But on average, you can go out in the in beaches where you have a strong shore break and very soft sand. Uh, when you arrive on land, the center of gravity of the boat is directly on top of the tracks. So somehow, as soon as you touch the land, the soft sand or whatever it is, uh, the weight is on the tracks. You push with the engine and you get out on the beach or whatever it is. 
So you see here some examples uh, on, on different kind of lands, but again, uh, these are relatively simple examples of where you can go with this boat. Uh, but you will see that the other aspect of the boat is that it is able to go on very uh, high slopes. So you can climb slopes which are like 40% or even more, in fact, uh, because of the power of the tracks. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the key idea overall is to say this is a, a sort of platform that has been developed. And I'm going to go into more details about the uh, capabilities of this boat. Uh, and they have been also sold uh, to the US Special Forces and Coast Guard. What, what, what is it in terms of construction? Uh, it looks extremely simple, but the technology which is uh, in the system is very integrated. The strength of this boat is its value of integration because you have very light and very strong material, which are uh, like fiberglass and carbon fiber and epoxy. And all the material like aluminum and stainless steel are used on this kind of boat so that you have a very light hull and composite part which uh, gives you enough space to accommodate the weight of the system so that the combination of everything makes a, a very efficient boat, which is a bit less like than four tons for less than 10 meters, a bit less than 10 meters, which is a, a, a good range and a strong load capacity. Uh, in terms of construction, obviously, as you will see, uh, the other strength of this boat is that uh, the robustness of the, the system that you need to fix the mobility system makes the hull also extremely strong and stiff in the waves. So somehow you get a boat which is stronger uh, than a normal boat, in the, even in the sea, but also in the land. These are all the components, uh, which include some uh, belts with Kevlar, with no iron. Uh, and obviously we are chasing all the things which could get rusted. Uh, one of the key elements is to make some corrosion-free uh, equipment. And we have now boats which are used since 2013, just to give you an idea, in Middle East, and they still work quite well. Uh, we have two versions on land, one which is thermic, using a second engine, an inboard engine, which is a a 55 horsepower air-cooled industrial car engine, like a Ford. Uh, and we have an electric version, which is interesting for very silent operations using a lithium battery. And we always have an outboard for the sea navigation. And then we have the decking and all the, the things that we can put on top of the boat. Uh, so somehow you get a platform, and we are going to take, talk about of the different platforms, and you can then equip the platform in different ways. Uh, you see here the, the size of the boat. On this version, a 10 meters boat, you have something like uh, a bit more than two meters by three meters surface to be equipped in different ways. Uh, with um, And we can put different kind of engine and different speeds. So this is this is a sort of innovation which is available to the market and to the different Ministry of Defense around the world. And as we have been through different uh, boat shows around the world, we have been approached by, I would say by you, uh, Ministry of Defense and uh, people knowing the different uses. And what I'm going to tell you now is what we, we got from you uh, during these different interviews about the way you can use these boats. Uh, and I'm certainly less, much less competent than you are on the potential use of the boat because we, we have not done yet, we have not uh, registered yet all the potential uses of that boat. The thing we can say is that today we have a 10 meters boat, but we are working on a smaller version, which will be like seven meters. And obviously, we can make a larger version 
which will be like 15 to 20 meters. Uh, the technology can be uh, increased or decreased in size without really changing the principle. There is no obstacle to changing the size of the boat. Uh, this current size is, is, is practical for many uses, but obviously it might not be enough to carry equipment or carry uh, light uh, vehicles, for example, or more people or less resource or whatever it is. So the, the kind of use you can have in terms of action, uh, the idea of securing your ears before landing operations, uh, these iguanas can come before the landing and, and identify the mines and uh, prevent and prepare the landing of larger operations. But it also can be used for extraction, uh, especially if you use uh, very silent versions and infiltration uh, with the electric version. Uh, so you can take out in a very comfortable way injured people uh, uh, because it can also be used as a rescue boat for people which are, who are injured because you really put them on, on the boat with a ladder at the back, which is very large, a bit like a staircase, and it's much easier to manipulate the, the people. In terms of protection, uh, the most easiest way is interception and surveillance and control. Uh, the value is that instead of having boats patrolling along the, along the coast and being seen by everybody for every day, you know, uh, these boats can stand on the beach a bit like crocodile, if you want, and whenever there is a suspicious boat, they can get in the water in seconds and, and, and reach out to the targets uh, very quickly. So it's very efficient in terms of uh, performance. It doesn't consume a lot of resource, either human resource or petrol. And finally, it's a support boat because you can carry all sorts of material on board, especially in shallow rears. Uh, so it, it is really a multi-purpose platform. Uh, so that's, that's the first sort of list of uh, potential uses of that boat. Uh, and then uh, I think on your own, in your own country, depending on the geography of your coastline and the way you are organized, I'm sure there are many other ways that these boats can be used. So this is a, this is a, a short summary, a presentation of this solution. And I'm very happy to take any questions.